Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Today's order of business, March 30th, 2022, at 5.35 p.m. Special meeting of the Dearborn Heights City Council. Madam Clerk, can you please take roll call? Yes, Dave Abdallah. Here. Hassan Ahmad. Here. Moby Doon. Here. Nancy Breyer is absent. Robert Constant. Here. Ray Muscat. Here. Tom Wenzel. Here. Mr. President. Mr. Chair, you have a quorum. Mr. President, you could be Mr. President, if you had to. But I was Mr. Chair. Yeah, we need to change that too. Next yeah. up is our Pledge of Allegiance, which would be led by our Councilman Hassan Ahmad. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And for those in the audience and on Zoom, I'd just like to remind the residents again, uh, we still have open seating available for any resident that would like to have uh, one of their children or teenager come in and sit in on the council meeting just so that they could get a vibe as to what this whole process is all about. Hopefully inspire them to one day take over our jobs. Uh, they are more than welcome to. All they gotta do is just get a hold of the clerk's office or you can get a hold of me and you are more than welcome to come in and sit in on any of our council meetings. You'll be sitting right at that chair, right there. Okay, next up is our agenda approval. Council Chair. Councilman Muscat. I move that Dearborn Heights City Council approve the amended agenda for the special meeting on March 30th, 2022 as submitted. Support. Support. Motion made by Councilman Muscat, supported by Councilman Baydoon. Any discussion on that? Hearing none, motion carried. Next item on the agenda is public hearings and comment on agenda items only. You will have two minutes. If anybody in the audience or on Zoom, please state your name, street you live on, and the city you live in. Right here, have another copy of the agenda. Okay, nobody in the audience? Anybody on Zoom? Get from my card. No. Okay. That's great. Next up on the agenda. <clears throat> is new business. This is for temporary food truck, tent, cart, business license applications. Council Chair. Councilman Muscat. Uh, I move that the Dearborn Heights City Council approve the temporary food truck, tent, cart, business license application for A1 Dogs and Burger LLC, Corn on the Corner, and Show Spot LLC as outlined in 13A. Support. Support. Motion made by Councilman Muscat, supported by Councilman Constant. Any discussion on that? Um, I, I do want to add something, um, Madam Clerk. Mm -hmm. I see, I just want to make sure for Elite Sports, they're also, because yeah. weren't they under Elite yes. Sports? Did we they're miss on that? the next one. They're on 11B. The the okay. There's a little bit different type of license. <gasps> okay. I don't have that motion on this. Though. I see. Okay, on B. I got it. Yes, they're B. Okay, excellent. So, any discussions on this? Um, Go ahead, Councilman. Council. Chair, I, I know uh, Corn on the Corner is here with us. If anybody of the Council has any questions for him, he's been around for a long time. Uh, unfortunately, Abdullah Dave did not call me or you his favorite uh, spot, but I know he attends to both. I do go there. Um, but if anyone here had any questions, Corn on the Corner is a very special place, very dear to us. Uh, I go there often. He does a phenomenal job. He's got a lot of security there. People come in from all different parts of the city who are not even fasting. Come out and support Corn on the Corner, and I believe now he's a fully established business owner. Any samples um, of him right now, or we can try? Tonight. Yeah. <laughs> what do they sell? Corn. <laughs> oh, corn. Oh, corn on the corner. How'd you know? How'd you know? Oh, wow. Steaks. No corn. Uh, but they also have different other different things as well, so you guys can catch them there. They do a phenomenal job. I know A1 Dogs is also, believe it or not, A1 Dogs is the first food stand to start in the actual neighboring city in Dearborn. Okay. Ice Hot Dogs was the second. A1 dogs are now moving up to the urban heights. Good. Hey, were you guys on uh, at the Divine Child uh, Halloween? Yeah, 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 that was good. I had some there. It was pretty good. See, I was surprised. Tommy yeah. knows it. Yeah. Good. You're gold. So uh, just a, a, a note to the residents, I just wanted to uh, let you guys in as far as what the plan is. The plan is to not have people just open up carts, tents, or food trucks, or food, whatever it is, um, in our city without going through City Hall first, making sure that they followed the right permits, making sure the plumbing's been checked, electrical's been checked, they've put in their application and started the process with the health department, 
went through our building department and then eventually through our clerk's office and uh, the fees that are um, enough to cover the expenses will be paid. Most importantly, this is something that's for the whole year. It's a year round thing, but we decided as a council body initially to do it for 45 days just so that we could work out all the kinks because this is a new thing in our city. In the past, unfortunately, um, some residents or some even non-residents decided to just open it up and no type of um, jurisdiction over it, no type of uh, watching over it, and then most importantly, making sure that things are nice and healthy and following protocols in the city. And so this is why we're doing this. We're gonna work out hopefully any potential uh, kinks, continue with the best practices in it, and then from there forward, we'll move over to a formal ordinance where it'll be year round, uh, people can bring in their food trucks, go through the building department, and eventually the clerk's office, and have these available year round at, uh, I see one of the, our Dearborn Heights Raiders coaches there. It would have been pretty cool to have a food truck there during you know, Raiders games, et cetera, et cetera. So that's the purpose of this whole thing. So, uh, so far in my conversations with our building director, and with the clerk's office, uh, there's some little kinks that need to be worked out, but there was nothing major that stood out as far as uh, potential issues or, or something that's gonna be problematic uh, for us as a city. So I'm, I'm happy to hear that, and we will continue, the, Madam Clerk has already told me she's gonna continue to look into it as far as what minor changes that may need to be made, and I know Rick, I spoke also with him from the building department. He's gonna continue to monitor it for the next 45 days and see what changes need to be possibly made, but there was nothing from both ends that stood out as far as very problematic and very concerning. Okay. So, okay. I, I have just one more, I have a question. Maybe the clerk uh, can answer this for me. Uh, what does somebody, what, so I have, actually have two questions. The first question is, let's just say a tent opens up. What are the protocols that is gonna happen do, you know, I mean, at, right now during Ramadan, I don't know how many People are going to be driving around in the middle of the night to check and see if anybody's just randomly opened up. I don't know. I know Corporation Council on here, but I think that would be an ordinance. But ordinances aren't going to be working at 12 at night. Yeah, but they're the ones so, that monitor yeah. the ordinances. Yeah, which? but at that point in general with ordinances, oh, whenever Bill an Dishram's ordinance officer is not... Yeah, Gary's on there. He told and me he'll be on there in case we need The director of ordinances on too. Okay, okay. yeah. Okay. Nice. And but in there. general, it typically... Go, in general, whenever there's an ordinance that needs to be looked at and it's uh, potentially a safety issue, typically the police officers take over from Okay. There. Okay. My next question is, um, let's just say somebody wants to open up Monday. Can they go to the building director and pull a temporary license, or are we denying anybody else that's coming no. forward? No, I mean, it's, um, go ahead. They can go through the process, but, but it would have to come back to us as a exactly. city council body to approve it again. Now, in all fairness to a lot of them, and I get it, some may or may not know of this, but we did promote it pretty well. It was in the papers, it was in multiple papers, it was on, on social media, and we mentioned it at multiple council meetings. But let's pretend somebody on Monday decides they want to do this, or a month and a half or two months from now they want to do this, they would still have to go through the protocols, go to the building department first, yes. start the application process. They have a Thank pretty good form. I was pretty impressed, Rick, by the way, yeah. uh, from our building department. They have the stuff that they have to fill out, then they'd eventually go in and pay the fee there. Eventually they go to the clerk's office, pay the fee there, and then it comes back to our council body. Then the potential so we negative for them is it, they could be delayed, obviously. We, we went through all of this when we had the two meetings. Yeah. Yeah, I only asked that because somebody reached out to me yesterday and said, you know, I got a spot, like I'm gonna, I wanna go fill out the application. And I said. They wanna get it on the next agenda, it's not until April 12th. Yeah, they gotta do it. But it'll take them time. Let's just say we have 10 people that come up and they wanna fill out an application. Can we make an extension we, within this body? And I'm saying, uh, I mean council body to see if we can do another special meeting. Oh. That's it. I, I know it sounds crazy, but we'd have to do a special meeting. I mean, just for one person? No, I'm saying if it's like 10 people. Well, that's a different story, yeah. I, yeah. I mean, if there's a bunch but of people, But if it's one yeah. person, I agree. I, 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 no, agree. I, I I'll agree with multiple people, but yeah. not different one. I if agree. if okay. it becomes where it could potentially be a problem, we could always, in a, I don't want to use the words, an emergency case, but because of timeliness, maybe we could do it right before one of our council meetings, maybe. But I'd, I'd rather avoid that if we could. Because they've had plenty of time to be able to apply and do what needs to be done. In fairness to the people that did apply. Yeah. You know. Okay. Anything else from the council members? Yes. Okay. Somebody, uh, Tim, uh, Emily, 
When we didn't vote on it yet, so no, no, yeah, no, no. He, he we're not going to. Wait, who, who, who's the hit. person? Tim Emery, the head of TIFA. That's head of TIFA. We got. But is he talking about this subject, or you don't know? Well, we he would have to wait till public comments. Yeah, let's wait for public comments. Tim, do you have something on public comments? Okay. 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 Anybody so else? Saying, he's saying call on him. He or he can't hear. Okay, let me let him in. Let's let him in at least to see what he wants to say. But if it's not on this, let's keep it for until public yeah, comments, comments Tim. Yeah, even if it is about this. He, yeah, he shouldn't be talking. He's, he's trying hear. to wave us. I'm he stressing. can't hear, he's saying. That. Oh, he can't hear? He can't hear? I can hear. I have, a, I have a question concerning the school districts, okay? Okay, so let's, Tim, if you don't mind, the, let's, let's go towards the end on that during public comments. Well, we're if you vote on this, comments. it might, it'll be too late. I just got, just got a quick question, that's all. Okay, I'm going to allow it, but normally that's during the public comments on agenda items. So I'm going to allow you just a super quick question, please. I, I mean, it's, I, just, I uh, talked to Councilman Breyer about this, it, and I wanted to talk to you the other night when we were at our meeting, but she left. The, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, it, it, if they go to school functions, like the football games or basketball games or something like that, uh, a lot of the schools have... Uh, the, the the food service that they sell inside the, the at a football game that is a fundraiser. Is okay, it possible we can? We've addre we've addressed that already, Tim. And okay, I, did, I didn't know. To, I haven't heard. And now you should listen want, to me. Anybody that wants to open this type of a facility or food truck or whatever it is has to get approval, and that's a part of the application school. process the from the person they're using the land on, and they cannot go on public property. So I cannot pull up my own food truck and put it on Wilson and Beach Daily. But if I want to put it at, let's say, the District 7 school board, hypothetically, then I have to get the okay from you guys so I can turn it into Rick Watland from uh, the building department. And once he sees that, then he approves it. If I don't have approval from the entity that owns the building, then he will not approve me or whoever okay. it is that's applying. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Okay. Any Council other questions on this? Or Council Chair, you have um, ordinance director. Has okay, yes, standard. absolutely. We want to hear from him. You got that Bill Deshun, if you could let him in, please. Okay. Hello, Bill. Hey, how are you? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. I just wanted to touch uh, really quickly on uh, what Councilman uh, Mobe Doon was questioning about. Just make sure that all of these uh, food carts are um, approved by the council. Everybody has all their licenses because I've been in close contact with the police department and they are going to be out. They're going to be looking. They're going to be enforcing. Um, I may or may not have uh, some guys coming in to enforce as well at night. Uh, that hasn't been scheduled. The mayor and I spoke about it briefly. But wait, right now, wait, there's Bill, uh, Bill one second. I just want to make sure if I'm not the one. Is it cutting off or is it yeah, just me? Going. Yeah, Bill, you may want to, I don't know, get closer because we're all having a hard time yeah. deciphering what okay. you're saying. I think you're far away from the microphone. Okay, I'll get, can you hear me now? A little better, yeah. Okay, just uh, just really quick, I just wanted to make sure that everybody that uh, is involved is getting is getting a food cart. Make sure everybody is approved and they're properly licensed, because the police department is going to be out enforcing. I've been in contact with them, and we may have guys out as well. So just make sure everybody's licensed, and we won't have any problems. That's all, that's all I want to say. Okay, I just okay. want to make sure I understood you correctly. You you want to make sure that whoever has applied and gotten approved has their license in a place where the police officer, if they do happen to come by, can see it. Is that correct? That is correct. And additionally, make sure anybody that wants to come out, make sure they're licensed and, and, and have, have approval to be out there because the police are going to be watching. And if you don't have, you don't have the, the proper documentation and paperwork, you're, you're probably going to be cited. Thank you, Bill. And I want you to know that you will also, I believe, you can get a copy from Rick if you want to hand it to the police department that's working the night shift to let them know that these are the ones that are approved. Anything else obviously has not been approved other than today. Right. Yes. I, I spoke to Rick about that already. But I'm going to forward all the information as soon as everything's confirmed. I'll forward it to the police department, uh, to Captain Erickson over there, so he has all the information. So we're all on the same page. <clears throat> okay. Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Anybody else on Zoom? We All right, seeing first. none, we're going to go ahead and take it to a vote. All right, um, so this is in regards to temporary food truck, tent, cart, business, license applications. The ones that were turned in to us um, as a council body with the, all the applications and all the formal papers turned in to us. 
Uh, all in favor, please state aye. 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 All opposed? And I'm an aye also. The ayes have it. And that's for a motion made by Muscat, seconded by <coughs> Councilman Constant. Motion carried. Next item on the agenda is item 13B. Con Go ahead. Council Chair. Wait, let me, just one second. This is the business license application uh, for Elite Sports Festival at 2100 Kinlock. Council Chair. Councilman Baidu. I move that the Dearborn Heights City Council approve the new business license application for the Elite Sports Festival located at 2100 Kinlock as outlined in 13B. Support. Okay, motion made by Councilman Baidun, supported by Councilman Muscat. Any discussion on that? Uh, Council Chair. Go ahead, Council. Um, I know Mike is here um, from Elite Sports. I believe he is has a huge festival coming along there that's going to be enclosed. It's going to have security. Mike, can you just come up, maybe have a come to the podium, just tell us what you're doing exactly so that people at home know what's happening? I know we're going to keep this simple and sweet, but Mike did a great job last year, and I know this year is just going to be bigger and better. Uh, good evening, Elite Sports, 2100 Kinlock Street, Mike Mackey. Uh, first of all, I wanted to thank um, the administration, uh, Rick in the building department, Kim, uh, Action Jackson, um, <laughs> obviously Captain Erickson, the clerk's office, and city council for making this hopefully happen. Um, I've been working with uh, Kim from Parks and Rocks and with Captain Erickson on an outline of how we're going to do this. And the most important thing to all of us, obviously, is uh, safety. So we have a pretty good vision. It's going to be an enclosed parking area where only vendors will be, no cars there, and people can walk into that area. Um, speaking to the captain, he told me he's going to have at least two police officers on foot. I have uh, two additional security guards that will also be there, and if more police are needed, I think I have dialogue with the captain that we can go ahead and hopefully that can happen too. I believe also the sheriffs have offered their services to you. So last year we had Wayne County Sheriff, um, and if we need them again, they'll be more than happy to come on the weekend. Okay. Okay. I, I could say for myself, I did go to the Elite Sports Festival last year, and it was well run, it was clean, well organized, like it always is, and uh, good food. Thank you. So it's a nice one. Hopefully this year will be uh, bigger and better. There's, yeah, there's a multitude of vendors that he's got coming. Uh, some food, some are non-food, some desserts. So this should be a pretty good program, and I'm glad somebody's putting something like this together in Dearborn Heights. Uh, he's not going to like me saying this, but I'm going to say it anyways. Uh, he's also, I don't want to use the words agreed, he volunteered no, to, to, to pay uh, some of the profits towards the District 7 school district. So I, I commend him for that. Good job, Mike. Thank you. Mike, I, I always mean, give him back. We're going to thank the vendors that, because that, they're all going to pitch in and, and do something. But I'll let them know that you guys thank them. Mike, okay. are you opening this Friday or Saturday? We're opening Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. And I, I want to clarify, I know that's the address given for Elite Sports, but that's not where the event will be. So I just want to clarify, it will be in, in, uh, right by Elite Sports, which is right behind the North Dearborn Heights uh, fire station and uh, right by the recreation department close to Crestwood High School. Correct. So that is from Beach Daily then? Yeah, like so a, it's a Beach Daily address. So what is technically the address, Mike, please? 1801. They would actually be precincts 11 and 12. 1801 Beach Daily. 1801 Beach Daily. I just don't want everybody to go to Kinlock. <laughs> They'll see everybody. We're, we're going to put Excellent. some signs up and help them. We got there. some nice lighting I heard you coming, Mike. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we got bistro lighting, about 1,500 square feet uh, coming up, so we're going to get the place lit up, but not, not so much where it bothers anybody, but just enough to you know, have a nice presence out there of lights and safety. And it's, and it's daily, too, correct? It's gonna, yes. We're going to go almost every day, okay. weather permitting. Council uh, you, Pro Tem, uh, Councilman Abdullah told me, Council Chair Abdullah told me he's got a hot dog that he's buying for every single person on the council. <laughs> yeah, no the, problem. It'll Sounds be good. his pleasure. I know, I know Council Chair pretty yeah. well. Only one? Well, he's taking us to corner of the corner after that. And yeah. He's taking us everywhere. All over. One. I know Council Chair. We're going to do a tour of Dearborn Heights. 
I know Council Chair pretty well. He loves to treat people. Yeah, so. yeah it's, it's a Those treat to I actually all the residents, 63,000 residents. Why don't we do it big? Why yeah, why small? Actually, you, like you know what? That's not big. That's too small for him. Let's buy, buy everybody in the city, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so motion made by Councilman Beydoun, uh, seconded by Councilman Muscat. All in favor, please state aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it. Motion Thank you. carried. Thank you. Next item on the agenda is members of the public. Uh, let's start with comments from council members. Any comments? Councilor Chair. Councilman, go ahead. Uh, I would like uh, to thank uh, everybody who applied uh, for a permit to open uh, throughout Ramadan, and I would like to wish all our Muslim residents and Muslim around the world a very happy Ramadan and uh, Ramadan Mubarak. Thank you, Councilor Chair. Thank you, Councilman. Councilor Chair. Councilman Beydoun. I'm also just going to echo on what Councilman uh, Ahmed said over here, uh, thank you to all the vendors that went ahead. Thank you to Rick and the building department. Thank you to um, our, our amazing clerk who does a phenomenal job in her office for making this uh, easy, accessible, and you know, always being on the ball. I appreciate that. Yeah. Also, uh, as we embark on this journey through uh, Shah Ramadan, I wish everybody a Ramadan Mubarak. I know uh, this year it seems like it's going to be a little bit more difficult. Uh, I tried fasting today to like 4 o'clock and I was starving. But, you know, I just feel that when the holy month of Ramadan comes around, it just becomes a little bit easier. Um, especially, especially with budget meetings too. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I also, I'm, I've actually called Phil Hall today from the fire department yes. on April 8th. Myself, 10 of the firefighters. And our center, Silvana, will be breaking fast with our Dearborn Heights firefighters who will be fasting all day. We're also going to, I'm also welcoming anybody else here who would like to join us. Uh, it was just very spontaneous. He said, hey, man, I wanted to, you know, just tell you happy Ramadan. I know it's coming up. I said, when are you going to fast? He said, give me a day. I'll get 10 of my guys with me. And we agreed to April 8th. So if anybody can uh, attend and wants to fast that day, join us, please. We'll be there um, and we'll be breaking bread together at the fire department. Sounds good. Thank you. Um, I do want to just uh, quickly just thank uh, our building department, our administration, the mayor's administration, and our clerk's office because we, on our end as a council body, we did the easy part, you know, making this decision. But the, the, all the hard work was on the building department and the clerk's office. So I just want to thank them both for all their hard work and making this transaction very smooth. So good job. And thanks to you, Council Chair, because you also made this happen. No problem. Council Chair. Councilman Constant, go ahead. And I just echo what everyone said. And thank you, especially to our clerk's office. This has been hanging around for a little while. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know Councilman Beydoun has been very enthusiastic about this. And uh, we got it done. So thank you, everybody. No problem. And happy and blessed Ramadan to everybody. Thank, thank you. Happy Ramadan to all. Anybody else from the council members? Hearing none. Council Chair. Next. Yes, Councilman Tom um, Wentzel, go ahead. You know, we had a, a, originally had a closed session planned for today, and it was taken off the agenda. Can, can we add it back on, have a closed session? Or is that something we have to? So I'm in conversation with the mayor on this. Because of, um, and I got to be careful because of legalese, but because of a meeting that's going to be taking place in the next couple of days, after that meeting, we will be going ahead and, and setting up a, a schedule with the mayor's uh, department and then uh, HR director, our corporation counselors, to go ahead and give us an update. Yes, there will be one. Okay. Well, happy Ramadan, everybody. Bless everybody and your families. Thank you. Any other council members? All right, hearing none, next is announcements. Any announcements? None, all right, good. And lastly, we have public comments from members from the audience, and we'll go to Zoom next. Any members of the audience have any comments? Roger, come on up. We'll have two minutes, please state your street name. Three minutes. I'm sorry, three minutes. Street name, city you live on, you live in. What's yeah. going on, guys? My name is Abdullah Tofik, um, 25415 Fort Road, corner on the corner. Um, I want to thank you guys. You know, thank you guys for working with us and you know making this, making this such an easy process. You know, um, right now our food trucks in the city of Dearborn, and I, and I can tell, and I, I can say this firsthand. Thank you guys for making it so easy. <laughs> you know, um, we look forward to having everyone. Hopefully, a safe event. Um, that's first and foremost. And uh, we can't wait to have you guys all. Uh, this is a formal invite for all you guys to come by. Uh, today's our last day of operation. 
um, till Ramadan starts. So if you guys are hungry after, you guys are more than welcome to come by. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you very much. We'll take you up on that. So no, I'm just messing. <laughs> okay. Um, anybody else in the audience? Anybody on Zoom, Madam Clerk? Nobody? Okay. Council Chair. We are all set. Councilman, move, go ahead. Move to adjourn. Support. Support. Um, well, actually, we do, this is a... Oh, yeah, actually, this yes. Uh, so move to adjourn. May, motion made by Councilman Muscat. Supported by Councilman Baydoun. All in favor, please state aye. 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 Those opposed? The ayes have it.